Hey love, this is Nicolette from Nicolette Styles and also the creator of the Clever with Canva course. And today I want to show you how to create custom thumbnails using Canva. So you might be asking, why would you want to create custom thumbnails? Custom thumbnails is just a really great way for you to stand out online. And it's another small thing that you can do to brand your business and for your target market to easily recognize your work and to create that consistent visual experience for them. You'll see in the I think, Creative Collective channel, we are starting to brand all of their with a similar design recipe that you will find on their blog posts or on their podcast. And then for the Trello tips, we're doing that with a hint of blue so that we'll have that consistency as well. So first thing that I recommend that you do is you wanna make sure that your thumbnails are easy to read. So they should be legible, they should be on brand. So use your brand colors, use your brand fonts, create something that is simple to create but also simple for the viewer to see and to understand what that video is about. On my own channel, what I've started doing is I've started changing my branding from the darker blue to the lighter blue. And what I recommend that you do before you jump into Canva is just to go through a few other channels that you've been subscribed to to see who's doing Instagram well. This is what I mean with how beautiful and consistent their videos stand out. You can see that there's a consistent theme. And so what you can also do is if you have a certain video series or a playlist. So for me, I have Trello tips and I have Canva tips and maybe later I'll have a Canva challenge. So maybe I reserve certain colors or layouts just for those specific playlists. You could have your writing always on the side, except when it's a challenge, then maybe it's at the top or at the bottom. So that's a good way to distinguish those different videos. We are doing exactly the same thing for Think Creative Collective. So we want the Trello tips to stand out from all of the other videos that we're creating for TTC TV. So you'll see when you start looking at a few examples that if you were to see for example, Studio DIY's videos somewhere else where someone was sharing it, you would instantly recognize their channel and their videos and their work. So again, taking the time to create a YouTube thumbnail template is just a great way for you to brand your business and to stand out online. So let's talk about how to create them. But usually when you go to upload your new video, you'll get the option to choose your own custom thumbnail. Now, if your videos are already uploaded, what you would do, so you can either click on that video and then you can either click on this pencil mark here to edit or over here where it says info and settings. And this is going to take you to where you can edit this video. So you can edit your title, your description, and you can change the image. You can change the thumbnail. Thumbnail size is 1,280 pixels by 720 pixels. And you just change the image, click over here, and you upload the image that you want to use. Now let's jump into Canva to see how to create these. You'll notice that I usually use a really big font and that is because you want your thumbnails to be easy to see, easy to stand out and easy to read. So you'll go to canva.com, you'll click on the more sign and then under social media and email headers, you're going to look for YouTube thumbnail. Now the great thing about Canva is that they already have a few really great options for you to use. So you don't have to create something from scratch. If you want to take the shortcut and just select a template that will work for you then that's great you would just add in your own brand elements and personalize that for images I include an image that's relevant and that I'm talking about in the video so either it's going to be an example in the background of what I'm talking about or it's going to be a picture of me what we do for think creative collective the image that we use for that blog post or that we use for the podcast once you found a template that you like, all that you would do is play around with the look and feel that you feel that will work for most of your designs. You can also add your logo if that makes sense for you. For me, I don't want to take away too much from the video, so I try and be subtle with where I put my logo. 
for Think Creative Collective, we put the Trello Tips logo at the top and then for the other episodes, we just bring the TTC TV logo at the bottom so that the training or the lesson stands out more. So basically, all you'll do is you'll playing around with an idea that you feel will work most of the time or you'll just go through and pick something that Canva has that will work for your business. So there you have it. Once you have a look that you like, make sure that you're being consistent. Remember that if you are wanting to change things up a bit, that you can just take your template and move things around a little bit. And spend some time making sure that your YouTube thumbnails complement your banner and vice versa. So create a design recipe that works for you that's easy to recreate. Create your template. Make sure that you're naming it so that it's easy to find in your designs. And then if you haven't been consistent with this, just spend some time updating your thumbnails. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. Be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, just pop them below in the comment section.